OpenAI's ChatGPT is a lot of things, but a lawyer it is not. The lawsuits began like so many others. A man named Roberto Mata sued Colombia airline Avianca, alleging that a metal food and beverage cart injured his knee on a flight to Kennedy International Airport in New York. When Avianca asked the Manhattan federal judge to dismiss the lawsuit based on the statute of limitations, Mata's lawyers of the law firm Levido, Levido and Oberman vehemently objected, submitting a 10-page brief citing over six relevant court cases. There was Martinez v. Delta Airlines, Zikerman v. Korean Airlines, Vargas v. China Southern Airlines, and a host of others stating the tolling effect of the automatic stay on a statute of limitations. However, there was just one problem. No one, neither Avianca's lawyers nor the judge could find evidence that these court cases existed. U.S. District Judge Kevin Castell therefore ordered Matter's lawyers to provide copies of the opinions found in their briefs. On further inquiry, it was discovered that both the court cases, including the citations and copies of opinions provided by Steve A. Schwartz, one of Matter's lawyers, were generated by ChatGPT and were entirely fake. How did this happen? Well, it turned out that rather than rely solely on Westlaw or LexisNexis to find relevant court cases for the Matter versus Avianca Airlines case, Steve Schwartz made ChatGPT his supplementary research tool and totally ignored the disclaimer on the chatbot under its limitations that says may occasionally generate incorrect information. Ironically, lawyers also ignore fine print. So, obviously, the chatbot manufactured cases for him and when he probed further to verify the authenticity of the Vargas case generated, asking for its source, it apologized for the confusion and stated that all the cases were real with their proof in legal databases like LexisNexis and Westlaw. In Schwartz's defense, he claimed that it was the first time he was using ChatGPT for work and therefore was unaware of the possibility that its contents could be false. Judge Castell apparently wasn't impressed with this response and scheduled a hearing on June 8th to address the legal blunder. He ordered Schwartz, Peter Luduka, another attorney involved in the case, and the law firm Levido, Levido and Oberman to present their arguments and defend themselves against potential sanctions. This highlights the absurdity of using chatbots for research without double or triple checking their sources somewhere else. And ChatGPT isn't the only chatbot capable of producing erroneous information. Bard, Google's AI chatbot, made up a fact about the James Webb Space Telescope in its first demo, claiming the telescope was the first to discover a planet outside of our solar system, whereas the first exoplanet was discovered by the Very Large Telescope Array in Chile in 2004. And Microsoft's demo of Bing AI displayed incorrect financial data from GAP's earnings report. But the question remains, given the inability of AI chatbots to reliably sort facts from fiction and the tendency to hallucinate or generate false answers, is the introduction of AI into search, like putting lead in water pipes, a slow, invisible poisoning?